Welcome again to the MOOC program of NPTEL. Today I will teach oxidation number and chromium based oxidizing reagents. Let us first discuss what is oxidation. For an inorganic chemist, oxidation means loss of electrons and increase in the oxidation number. For example, in the reaction of H2 plus F2, when a 2 HF is forming, if you think about the half reaction, so H2 is converting to H plus and releasing 2 electrons, so it is getting oxidized. Whereas, fluorine is accepting 2 electrons and it is becoming 2 A minus, so it is getting reduced. Similarly, for reaction of iron and oxygen, if you think the stoichiometric 4 Fe plus 3 O2, it becomes 2 Fe 2 O3. Here in free iron, it has oxidation state 0, whereas in iron 2 plus, iron plus here plus 3. So, the oxidation state increased by plus 3. So, this is an oxidation. However, for an organic chemist, this oxidation number is not truly understood. That is why gain of oxygen and or loss of hydrogen is considered oxidation, whereas reverse is considered hydrogenation. Let us see some examples. Like when ethane is converting to ethanol, one oxygen is adding. Now, ethanol is converting to acetaldehyde, one hydrogen is liberated. Similarly, when Acetaldehyde is converting to acetic acid, it is also taking oxygen. So, this addition of oxygen is called oxidation. Similarly, ethane is converting to ethylene, where one hydrogen is liberated. Similarly, ethylene converted to acetylene, one hydrogen is liberated. So, liberation of hydrogen is happening here, and this is also considered oxidation. So, what is oxidation number? The oxidation number or oxidation state of an atom is the charge that would exist on the atom if the bonding were completely ionic. And the oxidation number is an indicator of the degree of oxidation or loss of electrons of an atom in a chemical compound. And there are certain rules to determine the oxidation numbers. The first rule is that the oxidation state of an uncombined element is 0, like we have seen in iron last case. This applies regardless of the structure of the element like xenon, chlorine, S8 and large structure of carbon or silicon each have an oxidation state of 0. Also, the sum of the oxidation states of all the atoms or ions in a neutral compound is 0. This is very important. When we, we calculate the oxidation state of a particular atom, we have to consider that the whole molecule, uh, if a neutral compound should be 0. The sum of the oxidation state of all the atoms in an ion is equal to the charge of the ion. This is equal also for the when we calculate the whole charge of the ion, we have to consider this. The more electronegative element in a substance is assigned a negative oxidation state, the less electronegative element is assigned a positive oxidation state. Remember that electronegativity is greatest at the top right of the periodic table as you know fluorine, chlorine and decreases towards the bottom left. Let us see more about oxidation number. Some elements almost always have the same oxidation state in their compounds like group 1 metals like sodium, potassium, they have always plus 1 oxidation state. Similarly, group 2 metals, magnesium, calcium, they have always plus 2 oxidation state. Oxygen usually has minus 2 oxidation state, however, there are exceptions like peroxides and F2O. Similarly, hydrogen has usual oxidation state plus 1, however, exception is metal hydrides where it is minus 1. Fluorine always has minus 1 oxidation state, chlorine usually minus 1, however, exceptions are there when compounds with oxygen or fluorine. Let us calculate oxidation number of C2H6. The oxidation number of carbon here is minus 3 and the oxidation number of hydrogen is plus 1, H plus and oxidation number of plus 1. Now, the oxidation number of the compound as follows, we have to multiply carbon oxidation number with 2 because there are 2 carbon atoms and we have to multiply 
hydrogen oxidation number with 6 because there are 6 hydrogen atoms. So, total oxidation number of the molecule will be 2 into minus 3 plus 6 into 1 that that will become at 0. So, oxidation number of C 2 H 6 is 0 and this also implies that neutral compound oxidation state will be 0. Now, potassium chromate what will be the oxidation number of chromium? Here the oxidation number as I told earlier the oxidation number of oxygen is assigned minus 2 when it reacts with the metal and now because there are 4 oxygen atoms where the total charge of oxygen will be 4 into minus 2 that will be minus 8 and potassium has an oxidation number of plus 1 giving an overall charge of plus 2 because there are 2 potassium atoms. Now because the compound is neutral and 2 into 1 plus chromium plus 4 into minus 2 will be 0 and this implies that chromium chromium here has uh, plus 6 oxidation state. Let us discuss some more examples like manganese oxide. Manganese oxide if you see there are 2 oxygen atoms. So, 2 into minus 2 plus x is equal to 0. So, x will be plus 4. Similarly, CrO3, CrO3 what will be the oxidation number of chromium? Here 3 oxygen atom is there. So, 3 into minus 2 plus x is equal to 0. So, x is equal to 6. So, here it has plus 6 oxidation state and even it has plus 4 oxidation state. Let us discuss this one H2 CrO3 what will be the oxidation number of chromium? Here 3 oxygen atoms is there. So, it will be 3 into minus 2 plus 2 hydrogen atoms is there plus 2 into 1 plus x is equal to 0. So, 3 minus 2 is minus 6 plus 2 it is coming minus 4 plus x is equal to 0. So, chromium will be here plus 4. So, this is chromous acid. So, next we will discuss some chromium based oxidizing reagents and there are defined chromium based oxidation reagents and their reactivities are also de, uh, defined. So, we will discuss one by one. First is chromic acid which is strong oxidizing agent and here chromium is plus 6. Collins reagent which is pyridinium and chromium trioxide we will discuss in detail. PCC which is pyridinium chlorochromate which is mild oxidizing agent. PDC this is pyridinium dichromate which is mild oxidizing agent. PFC pyridinium fluorochromate which is also a mild oxidizing agent and ETAD reaction this also chromous chloride we will discuss later. So, what is a chromic acid we will discuss more detail now chromic acid is strong oxidizing agent and commonly used for oxidation of primary and secondary alcohols that do not contain acid sensitive group because it is already acid. So, it can hamper the acid sensitive group. It is generally appeared as red, dark red crystals and mostly it is prepared in C 2. So, there are uh, different reagents which can generate chromic acid in C 2 like chromium trioxide and H 3 PO 4 this is acidic solution of chromium trioxide acidic aqua solution of chromium trioxide. So, this is called Jones reagent and this in fact in C 2 generate chromic acid also defined salt you can use like potassium dichromate and H 2 SO 4 which will generate chromic acid also sodium dichromate H 2 SO 4 it can generate chromic acid in C 2. Let us see some examples of chromic acid oxidation. Simple secondary alcohol like this alcohol under chromic acid condition we generate this acyclic ketone. Similarly, cyclic alcohol like cyclohexanol under chromic acid condition we give cyclohexanol. And for primary alcohol this uh, oxidation cannot be controlled. So, first uh, oxidation will take place with chromic acid to generate the aldehyde and the aldehyde will be further oxidized to the carboxylic acid. So, that is why you cannot control the oxidation up to aldehyde. And what is the mechanism of this reaction? So, we can discuss the mechanism that this is very strong acid. So, H2O liberation is not um, a problem here. So, alcohol first reacts with chromium and then H2O will liberate and you get the chromic ester. As you can see this oxygen is here. So, this oxygen is binding to chromium now. So, this is chromate chromic ester now and this 
Now the water can take this CH proton and then the this CRO O will liberate and you get the ketone H 2 CRO 3 and H 2. And H 2 CRO 3 this is plus 4 as I told this will go to this is goes to chromium 3 ultimately and which is green in color. So, if you see the color change in the reaction then also you can understand the reaction is happened. So, if this plus 4 will goes to plus 3 and you can get the green color. However, it has limitation like it is highly toxic and it is uh, quite reactive. So, you have to be careful and saturated primary alcohols are oxidized to carboxylic acid. So, that we have seen that you cannot control up to aldehyde. So, scientists thought to prepare mild oxidizing agent instead of chromium uh, instead of chromic acid. And first reagent that was developed is Collins reagent that is the scientist name and this one this reagent can selectively oxidize primary alcohol to aldehyde in organic solvent. So, that is also important earlier we have seen that H 2 CRO 4 you have to use aqua solution. So, that is a problem if your uh, compound is not soluble then also difficult. So, here you can do an organic solvent and it has appearance red crystals. It also generally prepared in C 2 and how you prepared the chromium trioxide you have to take one equivalent and two equivalent period in, in anhydrous condition in dichromethyl solvent and then you can get this Collins reagent. And if you see the structure actually the pyridine has direct bond with chromium. So, chromium one pyridinium and another pyridinium total two pyridinium and now this O minus O minus and so here also plus six, but two pyridine is there and that is why the reactivity is decreased. And under this condition if you take the chromium trioxide 2 pyridine dichloromethane in situ it generate the Collins reagent and it can selectively oxidize ethanol to acetaldehyde and there is no observation of the further oxidation to acetic acid. Also it has been used that when you have a multifunctional group like acetate group is there, electron motif is there and primary alcohol is there. And if you put Collins reagent in C 2 it is prepared and then it found that these two groups are undisturbed. So, acetate group is undisturbed, acetate generally is hydrolyzed under basic condition also lactone can be acid or base condition. So, this tells that this is a mild redu mild oxidizing agent which selectively oxidize primary alcohol to aldehyde. However, there are some drawbacks like this is highly hygroscopic. So, you have to be careful it has to be anhydrous condition and must be used in six fold access. This is also a drawback of this reagent. You need six fold access to complete this reaction. So, scientists thought then other reagent and one a reagent which came after is PCC this is called pyridinium chlorochromate. In 1975 E J Kore Nobel Prize winner who developed and W Sukes developed this reagent as an oxidizing agent. And this is widely used for oxidation of primary and secondary alcohol particularly for oxidizing primary alcohol to aldehyde and it has been found it does not affect the double bond. So, this is important that this is not strong oxidizing agent. Appearance yellow orange solid and properties it is not hygroscopic. So, that is important earlier we have found that Collins reagent is hygroscopic, but PCC, PCC is not hygroscopic. So, this is very impo important also it can be used in stoichiometric amount. So, this is also important Collins reagent, Collins reagent in can, case of Collins reagent you have to use 6 equivalent, but in PCC you can use 2 equivalent also is enough or 1 to 2 equivalent. You can use and you can get the conversion. So, how is it prepared? Chromic as chromium trioxide you have to use HCl and then this Cl minus 
first this H plus is attacking the chromium trioxide and you get the H plus here. Now, your C L minus will attack here and you get this C L. So, C L chromium bond is forming. So, this is chlorochromic acid and now there is a O H is there. So, acidic H plus. So, that will be taken by the pyridine because pyridine is base. So, it will take up this proton and you get this salt. So, this is called pyridinium chlorochromate. Pyridinium is there, chloro is there and this is the chromate. So, pyridinium chlorochromate. This way you can prepare. Also, this reagent is commercially available. So, as I told that it is mild reducing agent and it does not affect the C C bond. So, this is very important that if you have a alpha beta unsaturated allylic alcohol like this allylic alcohol it, it will generate the alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde selectively and it does not disturb the double bond in the molecule. Similarly, secondary allylic alcohol also can be oxidized to the enone here selectively this alcohol is getting oxidized under PCC and you have to add um, benzotriazole as an additive and under this condition you get good conversion of this steroid molecule. Also uh, oxidation of organoborane, so we know that hydroboration reaction of olefin can be carried out to get this borane. So, here you get this BH2 and this BH2 can be oxidized by PCC to get this ketone. So, here this is an usefulness of uh, PCC that organoborans can be oxidized also. So, this can be generated, this can be done um, first the double bond will be boron um, hydroboration to get the boron species and then the PCC oxidation can generate the ketone. Also, uh, one uh, thing that we should know that PCC is it is slightly acidic. So, when there is an external uh, there is a double bond which is quite further under acidic condition it can create problem. So, you have to add the sodium acetate buffer and the sodium acetate buffer has been found to be good when you, ha you have acid sensitive group. So, here if you add the sodium acetate buffer then only you get the desired ketone otherwise some more reaction will happen as, a, as we can see now. If you add PCC HCl in DCM then you get this compound and this compound we can think that how it is forming. So, here some more thing is happening you can see that what is going on now first the oxidation will happen then the carbon in, in reaction will uh, happen and then rearrangement of the double bond will occur to get this compound. So, we can draw the mechanism here. So, first uh, PCC you get the um, ketone now this will undergo under acidic condition intramolecular carbonyl in reaction. So, if you put H plus because you have H cell here. So, what will happen? So, 5 member ring will form here and you get this one. This terminal olefin first now the isomerization will happen.
isomerization will happen to get because this internal olefin is more stable, so you get this compound. So, if you want to stop undesired transformation, then you have to use buffer like sodium acetate and then you can get the desired transformation. Yes, if you have a diol like this, then you get the product lactone. So, this is also important that if you have a acidic condition, this diol selected will be giving the lactone. So, what is happening here? So, as you can see one alcohol is oxidizing to aldehyde and then the hemiacetal is forming OH is attacking to the aldehyde hemiacetal and that will oxidize. So, let us see what is happening here. Yes. So, under acid condition what will happen? This which will attack to this. So, hemiacetal or lactol will form. Lactol formation. Yes. And now this one again PCC. So, lactol will be oxidized to lactone. So, that is why in situ you can generate uh, in one sort you can generate this lactone. Okay, there are some more reaction uh, PCC can perform like okay, let us discuss first uh, mechanism of this reaction. So, what is happening first? First this OH, OH is attacking to the chromium of this pyridinium chlorochromate and you get this intermediate and now the H plus transfer and you get this chromate ester. And now, this is very important because this chloride is good living group, this chromate ester formation will be very fast and that is what it has been found that chlorine is very important here because chlorine is a good living group. So, this process will be very fast. The elimination of chlorine minus here, it will be very fast and you get this chromate ester. And now, now, C L minus also is a base. So, it will abstract this proton here and then this bond will break this chromium O chromium bond will break and you get this aldehyde chromic acid chromous acid sorry chromous acid and pyridinum acyl and chromous acid also will be converted to chromium 3. So, this is the mechanism and we will see some more reactions of pyridinium chlorochromate. One important reaction that has been found that it can oxidize tertiary allylic alcohol. So, this is tertiary alcohol and also this alcohol is allylic because there is a uh, double bond in the allyl position. And what has been, been found that if you put PCC under this condition, then you get rearrangement, the double bond rearrangement to here and which this carbonyl group installed is in this position. So, this is very useful reaction and the many natural product synthesis this reaction has been utilized. So, what will be the mechanism of this reaction? 
So, first as I told you that chlorine is a good living group and here we can write in one step also that chromate ester is forming after H cell elimination. Now, there will be three three kind sigmatopic rearrangement. So, this oxygen carbonyl chromium oxygen is attacking here, this double bond is migrated and this blue oxygen is coming to the chromium um, double bond C R O double bond is forming. And after this rearrangement you get this double bond is here and this oxygen has come here and this might be blue oxygen. So, this uh, chromate now is formed and this oxygen has come in the allylic position. And this as you can see that all chromium 6 oxidation that this is happening. So, you, you get um, the elimination here and ultimately the chromate ester will eliminate to get this lac uh, enone. And here also um, as you can see this is carbon. Carbon if you put methyl magnesium chloride serous chloride what will form? Serous chloride is a Lewis acid it will activate this carbonyl and you get one two addition selectively. Yes. So, now you can see this is a tertiary allylic alcohol and um, because there is a double one in the allylic position. So, what will happen under this uh, PCC condition? PCC condition as you have seen this allylic position the carbonyl is coming and double one is migrating to here. So, the product we can write like this. here the methyl group here another methyl and a new carbonyl group will come. So, this will be the product. Yes, if you have a in the allylic position if you have a cyclopropane group then this ring expansion happens. We can also discuss the mechanism that here what happened? This is also tertiary allylic alcohol. So, if you give PCC, then you get this chromate ester formation. Now, what will happen? Now, this oxygen will come here and this bond will break and this will come to here. So, ultimately you will get a ring expansion ring expansion here the double bond is there and now here you have the O C R O O O minus plus. Now, as you have seen, this will be taken by pyridinium or and this chromium uh, H2CrO3 will liberate H2CrO3 pyridinium salt will liberate and you get this uh, cyclopentanone sorry cycloheptanone. So, when you have a tertiary allylic alcohol with a cyclopropane group then this uh, ring en enlargement is possible. So, as we have seen that the, this is a limitation of PCC, PCC is slightly acidic and, and there might be some side reaction when um, there is a external uh, double bond. So, in that case or acid label group. So, in that case you have to use uh, sodium acetate buffer. So, that is why scientists understood that there should be less acidic reagent and that is why PDC was discovered PDC is pyridinium dichromate. 
this oxidize primary and secondary alcohol to aldehydes and ketones. Also, it is known as Cornforth reagent. That was the scientist name. Uh, PDC is less acidic than PCC, therefore more suitable for the oxidation of acid sensitive groups. So, this is very important. Also, its appearance is red orange solid. It is soluble in water, DMF, DMSO and dimethyl acetamide and sparingly soluble in dichloromethane. Whereas, PCC oxidation is generally carried out in DCM, but PDC you can use DMF as well as DCM both also in water. How is prepared? So, chromium trioxide, aqua solution of chromium trioxide is generally giving chromic acid. Chromic acid and which can generate the dichromic acid. This is dichromic acid. Dichromic acid and it has been found that if it is concentrated solution, then the chromic acid convert to dichromic acid more actually. So, this equilibrium is on the right side when there is a very concentrated solution of chromium trioxide in concentrated solution. So, a concentrated solution of chromium trioxide has to be prepared and then pyridine has to be added. And pyridine 2 equivalent of pyridine is consumed here because there are 2 acidic protons and then you get this pyridinium dichromate salt and you can filter it. So, as you can see there is no Cl minus is there. So, it is actually no HCl acid is used. So, this is a neutral compound and it has been used that if you have um, this kind of alcohol where the there is another double bond is there we have found that in PCC condition you have to use the buffer, but in PDC condition you can use uh, without buffer. So, this is very important without buffer you can oxidize. But for PCC, PCC buffer is required. Otherwise, as we have seen that uh, carbonyl in kind of reaction will happen. So, uh, PCC condition you have to use the buffer, but PDC it is a not so acidic. So, this proves that PDC is less acidic than PCC. This reaction proves that there is no undesired transformation happen when we use the PDC. Also, this is a special about PDC that in DMF condition it becomes more oxidizing agent means its oxidizing power increases and it oxidizes carbon alcohol to carboxylic acid. This also is used very much in natural product synthesis PDC in DMF. Also, when um, under condition acetic acid use, then this anhydride is formation uh, observed. So, here we can see that ROH first goes to RCHO and then acetic acid is coming So, this anhydride will form. So, one step you can convert an alcohol to acetate anhydride, acetyl group containing anhydride by treatment with acetic acid. Similarly, if you put PDC in liquid ammonia, you can get the amide. So, here also first the aldehyde will form and then this can give to imine also, but here we get selectively the amide under 
um, PDC condition. Also, this kind of enol ether compound, this is very acid sensitive because if you put PCC, this will give uh, side reaction. But here it has been found that if under PDC condition, it selectively oxidizes to the aldehyde, and this motif is untouched. So, this is very important when you have a acid sensitive group, you can use PDC without using buffer and you can get the desired conversion. Another reagent which was discovered which is pyridinium fluorocomate and this is also mild oxidizing agent for primary and secondary alcohol and since its acidity is less pronounced than that of pyridinium chlorocomate because uh, HF is a weaker acid than HCl. So, this uh, pyridinium fluorocomate also is less acidic. So, compounds with acid sensitive group can be oxidized without buffering the reaction mixture. So, as we have observed like in PDC you do not need the buffer, in pyridinium fluorocomate also you do not need the buffer. So, it is less acidic. Another important uh, reaction that PFC undergoes is the oxidation of activated CH bonds. This appearance is orange crystalline solid and it is soluble in water. This has also wide solubility, it is soluble in water, DMA, acetone and acetonitride, less soluble in DCM like um, PDC. It can be prepared by chromium trioxide 1 equivalent, HF 1 equivalent and pyridine 1 equivalent and you get this pyridinium fluorocomate salt. So, it is like as we have seen for uh, pyridinium chlorocomate, so the, the structure will be similar. So, this is a pyridinium fluorocomate. It has been found that uh, reactions can be under reactions can be performed also under solvent free conditions like benzyl alcohol is oxidized to benzyl under solvent free condition. And this is a also a very important reaction that PFC only undergoes oxidation of anthracene also phenanthrene also can be oxidized this is anthraquinone. Also Also, phenanthrene can be oxidized to phenanthroquinone. And it has been found that in this reaction, if acetic acid is used along with PFC, then this yield is enhanced to earlier 68 percent was obtained and now under acetic acid uh, as a solvent, then you get 98 percent. So, it in it tells that if you use acid in this reaction, then the yield gets enhanced. Also, it has been found that if, he, if it is a acid sensitive group like OTB DMS, this is actually O silyl two methyl group is that dimethyl and tertiary butyl dimethyl silane. So, this group is acid sensitive and under PCC condition this group might get uh, also depotect, but under PFC condition you can protect this primary alcohol and selectively oxidize this secondary alcohol. So, that it tells that PFC is less acidic than PCC. Also, uh, triphenyl methane under PFC acidic acid chloric acid condition you can generate triphenyl methanol. So, this is very important that benzylic CH gets activated here. This is a benzylic CH 
and this goes to the alcohol. Uh, it has been found that if you have a acetal motif, then PFC can oxidize, means PFC can hydrolyze this um, acetal motif and it can generate the um, aldehyde. So, this also tells that PFC is not uh, very acidic, but it is, uh, it can do the hydrolysis of the acetal to get the benzaldehyde. So, today we have learnt different chromium based oxidizing reagents like chromic acid which is very strong which is generally aqueous solution is used. Then we have seen the Collins reagent, Collins reagent you can use organic solvent and this was first developed that it can be used organic solvent and it is mild. It can selectively oxidize primary alcohol and secondary alcohol to aldehydes and ketones. Earlier, chromic acid only you cannot control with primary alcohol, secondary alcohol, it goes to secondary alcohol gives ketone, but primary alcohol gives the carboxylic acid. So, one problem with Collins reagent was it was hygroscopic, so it cannot be utilized tremendously. That is why PCC reagent was discovered. And PCC it is slightly acidic, but because of chlorine is there, the chromate ester formation is very facile and it can be used also not in the truly moisture free condition. You can have some moisture also, so it, this reaction does not hamper, and the products are also selectively formed when PCC under buffer is used because it is strict, it is slightly acidic. So, we can control the acidity by using buffer like sodium acetate and you can got the desired transformation. Also PCC undergoes uh, tertiary allylic alcohol oxidation and the rearrangement happens. We have seen the alpha beta unsaturated ketone is formed with a double bond rearrangement. Then, because PCC was acidic, so PDC was discovered which is pyridinium dichromate and which has been found to be neutral. So, earlier when uh, acid sensitive group was used, PCC must be used with buffer, but here uh, without buffer also PDC can oxidize alcohol in presence of acid sensitive group. Then PFC was uh, developed, PFC was also found to be less acidic than PCC and different oxidation can be carried out also with PFC and Anthracene and phenanthrene can give anthraquinone, phenanthroquinone. Also, benzylic CH bonds can be also oxidized. We have seen triphenyl methane under acidic condition in PFC gives the triphenyl methanol. So, we have seen a defined chromium reagents with their various reactivity and selectivity. So, I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you.